Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the circus that is the Lawbreakers Northwest Territories edition, where we laugh in the face of sanity and shake our heads at the absurdity of it all. Perhaps you may have heard the phrase before, when hell freezes over. Well, it has, and it's changed its name to the Northwest Territories. Known for its vast wilderness and outdoor recreation opportunities, including fishing, hunting, and camping. The Northwest Territories is the largest and most sparsely populated province in Canada. Today, we'll be exploring the laws of this great land, and let me tell you, it's a wild ride. But first, a quick announcement. Make sure that you use two hands for everything that you do. It's not a law. It's just safer that way. And remember, nobody outranks general safety. That's all. Now, onward into the deep end of ridiculousness. No hunting caribou from an airplane. Up first, we have a law that's sure to make you say, holy hell, people actually do that. And do it to the point that there is actually a law. Well, they do, there is, and it's a doozy. In the Northwest Territories, it's illegal to hunt caribou from an airplane. No more airborne hunting expeditions. No more thrilling chases through the sky. No more pretending you're a maverick from Top Gun. You can still pretend to be a lady at the local public toilet, though those are different laws entirely. That is between you and Jesus, and possibly the local police. However, if you want to hunt caribou, don't do it from a plane, or you will be breaking the law. No walking on thin ice. Next up, we have a law that's sure to put a damper on your winter adventures. According to the law, it's illegal to walk on ice that is less than four inches thick. So, if you're a fan of ice walking, ice fishing, or ice skating, better bring a ruler or you'll be breaking the law. But let's be real, who walks on ice that's only four inches thick anyway? Ask yourself this, how much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. That's you. You are the polar bear in this scenario. Don't be a Darwin Award winner. That's just asking for trouble. Why not just get married instead? It's basically the same thing. Crippling loneliness and a slow frigid death. No feeding the bears. And now, we have a law that's sure to make you lose what little faith you had left in humanity. It's illegal to feed bears in the Northwest Territories. Some people evidently are fans of playing with fire and getting their face mauled. It's a very specific kink. But who are we to judge? Different strokes for different folks. Anywho, better go do it somewhere else. Because here, we're taking a stand against the rampant bear-human interactions. We're saying, no more, Mr. Bear, no more. Hashtag, me too. Is it breaking the law if the bear eats you because you are stupid? Either way, don't feed the bears or you'll be breaking the law. Let's take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You would really be helping me out. My wife says that if I can grow the channel, she will stop farting on my pillow every day. Please? Do you know how often I get pink eye? Now, more crazy laws. No possession of a muskrat trap. Next up, we have a law that's sure to make all the trappers out there cringe. It's illegal to possess a muskrat trap in the Northwest Territories. For those who may not know, a muskrat is a large, semi-aquatic rodent native to North America. They have dense, dark oily fur, webbed feet, and a flattened tail. They are spitefully mean and smell of sadness and failure. Like my wife. So, if you're looking for a new pet, maybe consider a cat or a dog instead. They are way less stinky and don't require a trap to catch. Plus, they are legal to possess, so you wouldn't be breaking the law. No trespassing on a trapline. And finally, we have the law that truly boggles the mind. It's illegal to trespass on a trapline. So, no more wandering in the woods without a map and a compass high on cough syrup and full of a whimsical lust for adventure. No more getting lost and finding yourself on a trapline by accident, 
feeling frisky and looking to harass the local animal population. I know you can't see me, but I put air quotes on the word accident. We know what's really going on here, now don't we? You better have your GPS and a guide, or you'll be breaking the law. But hey, at least it gives you a chance to explore the beautiful landscape and discover new traplins to avoid. And there you have it folks, the craziest laws from the great land of the Northwest Territories. How did we do with our list? Do you know of any laws we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Tune in next time for more crazy laws from around this great country we call Canada. Have a great day and thanks for watching.